What's up, watch people? Tony, Tony's Timepiece Review. Today is Friday, April 15th. <laughs> Got the date right for once. Beer. Mm. So today I'm doing a video on the Rolex Submariner versus the Cartier Santos. Why am I doing a video comparing the two? Um, actually, Funny enough, one of my viewers requested that I do this video, and I couldn't think of a reason why. Stop it, my cats again. Um, I couldn't think of a, a reason why, um, but then I thought about it, and I thought, you know, there's there's actually plenty of reasons why I can do a comparison and, and how you would compare the two. Um, so let's first start with saying, at one point in life, when we were getting into this watch collecting game, most of us didn't have the money to buy a luxury watch. Some people are blessed and lucky. Their parents buy them a watch or, you know, or they've just got endless supplies of cash that came out of nowhere or somewhere. Um, but for the majority of people, you know, these are things that aren't just something we can go out and buy. We, we fall in love with watches. We start off with a certain timepiece, whether it be a Fossil, a Guess Watch, um, a Seiko, a Timex, and then it just progresses from there usually. Um, and you know, when I was a kid, you know, there, there were certain watch brands that I just looked up to, you know, when I, when I said I was a kid, when I was a little tiny kid, I didn't really care too much. Um, but I was drawn as in my younger days to Rolex as well as Cartier. Those were two brands that were to me, uh, the pinnacle of, of luxury and something that I aspired to have. One day I'm gonna get a Rolex, or one day I'm gonna get a Cartier. Maybe one day I'll get both. Um, and, you know, again, they're not that easily obtainable. So if you're looking at, um, say for instance, and, and again, some of us aren't just a bunch of collect, you know, that some of us just are sick in the head and we just, all we do is collect and buy, collect and buy, sell, buy and buy. Um, whereas some people just basically, they want one really nice watch and then they have their other beater watches. So for instance, let's say you only have $10,000 to spend on a watch and you're either gonna go for Rolex, the Submariner, say that's, that's one of your grail watches, or a Cartier Santos, that's another grail watch, but you can't afford to buy both. So what do you do? You have to sit there and go, well, which one? Well, we all know that the um, Submariner is extremely difficult to get in a retail environment. You wanna go to the secondary market and spend fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars $16,000. So let's just say you're fortunate enough and this watch is available. And there are some of those people that will sit there and go, well, I'm going to get a Submariner. I'm going to, I'm just going to wait on the wait list until it comes in. And dude, you may never, ever get your watch if you, if you have that, or you think like that. So here we go. So let's start with either one of these two. What is it that you use it for? Um, are you active? What's your lifestyle? If you're pretty chill and it just, you know, you don't really have anything like, you know, I love boating and I love hiking and I love going to the gym and I like the, whatever it is, then, you know, either one of these could be really good for you. Um, the Cartier Santos obviously is easier to get. It's extremely comfortable on the wrist. I mean, extremely comfortable. Um, so when you put it on, you almost don't know that it's there. It, Kind of like when I was talking about the Tudor, if you saw my video on the Tudor versus the uh, Submariner. This is a great everyday watch. It's also a watch that when you wear it, it's extremely noticeable. People know exactly what it is, even if they don't know watches. They go, that's a Cartier. Um, the problem with this is it's a scratch magnet. So even if you look at it wrong, it'll start scratching. I mean, you can just look at it and go, wow, whoa, where are those scratches coming from? I didn't know it did that by itself, but that's what this watch is. Um, I don't even like wearing sleeves, like if I'm wearing a hoodie that goes over the sleeve because it rubs on it, you know, and that can create it. So that's a problem there. But other than that, the watch is, is gorgeous, 39 millimeters. And the cool thing about it, how versatile it is, it, the Cartier comes with an extra leather strap. So you can totally change this up and it's super easy to change with the quick change. You just 
press a button, pop it out, press a button, pop it out, pop in, pop in, and there you go. Now your watch looks totally different and it looks cool. Um, so the Cartier is awesome. Um, let's go to the Rolex Submariner. Submariner is that watch that you can wear. You, I mean, again, you, you can dress anything up or dress anything down for the most part. Um, the Submariner is something that um, basically, whether you're going to the beach diving or if you're going to a nice dinner, it, you can wear it. Car, uh, the Rolex also is that watch that says, you can bash me against the wall and I'm not going to scratch. You know, so that's another thing. Are you clumsy? Do you bash things? And, and again, how do you feel if you scratch something like that? Are you one of those people that get a little tiny hairline scratch and you freak out? Or are you one of those people that go, well, that's my first scratch or my second scratch or whatever it is. It's just what it is. I love, I love the watch. Uh, so the Rolex Mariner, um, you can pretty much bash it and it's not going to do anything because for one, it's really, really difficult to uh, scratch a ceramic. That, well, ceramic's really hard to scratch. Easy to shatter. Um, easier to shatter. Um, and this is just a great everyday watch. Um, and it's, it's a little bit more presence on the wrist, although it's not that much bigger at 41 millimeters, whereas the Cartier is 39 millimeters, but it wears almost as big as the sub. So again, either one of them, now keep in mind, if you're in the water too, this has 300 meters of water resistance. The Cartier has a hundred meters of water resistance. Again, you can change the strap. Uh, the way that this case curves is awesome, fits great on the wrist. There's a lot of heritage with Cartier. Uh, I've talked about the Santos before, and then there's plenty of videos where people want to give you the whole history of Cartier and the Santos. Um, so they both keep excellent time. They're both luxury timepieces. I know there's so many other things I want to say, but but as an everyday watch for 10,000 bucks or under, um, you know, it's up to you. What do you like? What's your preference? And if, if you again, want something more sporty, something more luxury, again, you can, this is more versatile in the sense that you can put a leather strap on it. Um, and again, that's pretty much about it. I think, um, if I missed anything, or if you guys have anything you want to say about it, please go ahead and comment below. Um, again, this is something that if I could pick one, if I really could just pick one, I don't know. It's a hard one, you know, because I've really, really wanted Cartier and Rolex in my collection. And, and uh, I don't know, almost the Cartier, but I do love Rolex. And I love the OPs, though, and the Datejust are, like, really my favorites. But um, this, this one's really, really grown on me. I really do love this uh, Submariner. In a sense, it's kind of low-key. Uh, it's lower-key, um, whereas this just sticks out and it pops you know when you you walk into a room with this on and it, it just the light shines off of it and people are going to look at it so um i hope this helped um again i have some other videos coming up and uh that i want to talk about and like subscribe i have a instagram channel at tony's timepiece if you want to go ahead and follow me there please go ahead and follow me there and i'm um, just testing out some new gear that I got. So see if this works. Anyway, have a great night. Take care. Oh, I don't even need to do that. I don't need to do this whole thing. See, I got a button. And it didn't work.